Hey, Internet and Melee, I'm Casey. This is 25 and 52. Um, I am recording this video quickly and as I get ready to leave because there is a thing on my list of things to do today that I had forgotten about or didn't know about. Something. Anyway, I'm busier than I expected to be. So yeah, um, after like continued adventures in total lack of productivity, uh, <laughs> last night I started building a bookshelf, which is finished, it's just behind the camera and I'm not turning the camera around because I'm in a hurry. Um, so I finally built that bookshelf, yay, and yeah, I started that last night and then I woke up today and I was like, I'm going to do things, and the Religious Coalition for Reproductive Choice was having a Twitter chat um, about this new initiative that they launched today about reframing the religious debate around abortion and having religious people come out as pro-choice and like talking about the reality that you know religious people are pro-choice many many of us so that was cool and I participated in that for a while and then I took a nap and then I talked to my therapist and then I yelled at people on the internet a little bit listen it was a bad day in white lady feminism anyway and then I took out my stress about that by finishing the bookshelf and then I went to the corner store and then I was coming back and I was like oh I'm gonna do my work stuff and I'm gonna put books on my bookshelf and da 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 and then I'm gonna go to this thing tonight when I looked and saw that I had an email about this reproductive justice working group that I want to be in um, which is meeting in oh like less than an hour and it was meeting in an hour when I got that email or saw that email and I was like oh no so I changed my clothes, got makeup put on, decided I would do this. I'm watching the like countdown thing that tells me when the bus is going to show up. I have 16 minutes. Um, I uh, started recording this, and so I'm going to go to that, and then I'm going to come home, I guess, and then Julie and Carolyn are going to come and pick me up, and we're going to go to the other thing which is also an abortion and religion thing. So I'm having a day theme here. Um, but so the like Bay Area Roe v. Wade anniversary event is tonight and um, a UU minister, one of my colleagues, is you know doing that. And um, Steph Harold, who I've not yet met in person, but I will, will be there and that will be cool. And Julie and I are gonna go and there will probably be drinks afterwards and then I'll do my work stuff because I sent an email and there's, listen, do you hear how fast I'm talking? That's how the world is for me right now. My biggest fear is that while I'm gone the cats will somehow manage to knock over this bookshelf and injure themselves, the bookshelf, my house. It's not, it came with a thing to attach it to the wall, like this, but not a thing like, so it came with this thing and like a screw so I can attach it to like the, you know, the bookshelf, but not a thing to attach it to the wall with, and I don't know what to attach it to the wall with, and also I'm a little bit too short for that. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna be hopeful for now about the continued standing of my bookshelf. The camera, currently, is resting on a box of hair dye, because I bought a new box of hair dye because I can see my roots and I don't like that, but I do, I like where the color's at, so that's kind of a problem. And also, I thought I wanted to get my hair cut, but then I looked at the first of these videos that I recorded and I was like, man, I'm cute though. Life is hard. In summary, it's not bullying if women of color tell white feminists that they're doing racist things in the course of their feminisming. Not bullying. And I'm astonishingly busy, yay. Yeah, yay? Anyway, uh, I love you.